Hello, and welcome to Bunny Books. Are you ready for a story? Today's story is King Pong. Chapter 1 In a hot green jungle, a long, long way from here, lived a gorilla. He had kind eyes, and his body was covered in jet black hair, except his black, which was splattered with silver. He was stronger and braver than any other gorilla before him. He was stronger and braver than any other animal in the whole of the jungle. But he was also smelly, which was why they called him King Pong. Watch out, here comes Pong, the colourful parrot's call. Knock your trunks and take over, the jolly elephants trumpeted. Oh, he smells worse than he did yesterday. The lazy crocodiles complained, if that's even possible. But King Pong didn't know his armpits smelt like weak old bananas, and no one told him, not even the monkeys dangling in the trees. He didn't know his feet smelt like dung balls, and no one explained, not even the snakes slithering across the floor. He didn't know his fur smelt worse than anything anyone had ever smelt before. And no one mentioned it, not even the fruit flies. And the animals loved King Pong, and no one wanted to hurt his feelings. So King Pong merrily went about his day, chasing ants and finding leaves to make nests with. Chapter 2 But one sunny summer's day, King Pong's stink became unbearable. The jungle air was hot and sticky, and there was no breeze to blow away bad smells. Whilst King Pong napped, the jungle animals gathered in a clearing for an emergency meeting. When was the last time that big hairy lump had a wash? they asked each other. But that was precisely King Pong's problem. He didn't wash, not even on Sundays, not even on his birthday, not ever. He's so strong he rescued Rhino with one hand, explained Elephant. But he, but he's too scared to paddle in a puddle. He's so brave he freed Falcon with his eyes shut, said Giraffe. But he's too scary to dip his toes in water. He's so kind he saved Snake even when he was really tired, said Hippo. But a drop of rain sent him into a panic. King Pong's stink was putting whole herds of animals off their food. It was stinging their baby animals' eyes too. Wow, 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 they cried. The animals needed to do something, and quick. Chapter 3 King Pong woke up from his relaxing nap and went for a stroll by the water. It's now or never, the animals thought. What a hot day, said Elephant, washing her trunk. Why don't you take a paddle in the pool? King Pong shivered and sh shuddered at the thought. Uh, I can't, it's too wet, he said. Why don't you just float a little on the surface, said Crocodile, relaxing on his back. King Pong's knuckles trembled and his teeth clattered. Mm, no way, it's too cold, he said. Nonsense, it's lovely and warm, said Hippo, wallowing in the shallows. Hold your breath and dive in, but... I'm too scared, well, King Pong, bucking away. The animals didn't want to make King Pong upset, but they couldn't stand his stink any longer. They wanted to help their friend overcome his fear too. He was always helping others after all. So whilst King Pong was having his second for the day, the animals called another emergency meeting. Chapter 4 the animals thought long and hard about ways to help King Pong, but the stink was getting to them and no one could agree. We can't tell him, he'll be too upset, the colourful pouts called. We can't push him in, he'll be even more scared, the jolly elephants trumpeted. We should just mind our own business, the lazy crocodile suggested, which was easy for them to say. They could hold their breath underwater for hours. Just at that moment, a terrifying sound echoed through the jungle. 
Help, help, somebody help. It was so loud and so terrifying, it woke King Palm from his nap. It was Giraffe, and she was deep middle of the water, and she was in trouble. Elephant couldn't rescue her. She wasn't brave enough. Crocodile couldn't rescue her. He wasn't strong enough. Hippo couldn't rescue her. Where was Hippo? There was only one animal strong and brave, courageous enough. But was he up to the job? King Pong jumped down from the nest and charged towards the water. Oh, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, he called to let the others know he was on his way. But he stopped at once when he saw the problem. He wanted to help. He really did. Uh, I can't, not water. Someone else will have to go, he said, shaking his head. But then Giraffe called out again. Help us, please. It's not just me. It's Jenna, too. That's when King Pong realised Giraffe wasn't on her own. Chapter 5 When King Pong saw that Gemma Giraffe car was in trouble, too, he didn't hesitate. He took a long, deep breath and splash. He swam all the way towards his friends. The giraffe was stuck to something dark and round. It was pulling them under. But what was it? King Pong ducked his head beneath the water to find out. That's when he worked out what was really going on. The dark and round something was Hippo, and he wasn't pulling them under. He was holding them up. King Pong came up for air. Hippo, he cried, what are you doing here? Although he already knew the answer to that, Giraffe and her calf were clapping and cheering. All of the other animals were grinning widely too. Then King Pong realised something else. The water wasn't cold and scary. It was warm and refreshing and fun. Well done, said Elephant. Hooray, said Crocodile. You did it, said Hippo and the Giraffes. When King Pong eventually got out of the water, he was the cleanest he had ever been. All the jungle animals breathed a huge, fresh sigh of relief. Does that mean I can have a new nickname now, he asked. What do you mean, pretended Elephant. What are you talking about, Shuffle Giraffe? I think he knows, whispered Hippo. I know you will King call me King Pong, he said, looking glumly at the ground. Suddenly all the animals felt a bit bad. We're sorry, they said. It's okay. You helped me find the courage to go in the water, King Pong said with a smile. I couldn't have done it without you. Hip hip hooray for King Splash, the animals cheered. In a hot green jungle, a long, long way from here, lived a gorilla. He was stronger, braver and cleaner than any other animal ever before him. And now he loved the water, but maybe a little too much. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you for listening. Bye.